Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Hunter. Today we're gonna take a look at Unity's third person character controller. And let's take a look at our project settings. So for this project, I'm gonna be using 2021.3.10 F1. And I'm gonna be using the 3D URP, the core version. I'm gonna leave the name as it is and hit create project and wait till it's created. So now that we are in our project, we wanna add the package to our project. So what you wanna do is go to window, go to package manager, and I like to dock my um, package manager somewhere, so I'm just going to put it here. So now you want to go to your browser and then the asset store. So once you're in the asset store, you want to search for starter assets. And here's going to show you a couple of assets. We want to select the first one and you want to add it to your project or you want, you want to add it to your uh, assets. So click add to my assets and you would add it. Now back to our YouTube project, we want to look for the package we just added. So click on your package manager that we just opened from the window. And if you have other assets, you want to scroll down a bit till you find the stern assets. So it's typically here, yeah, the stern assets third person character control and download it. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to import it. Click import and wait for a second till it's done like doing its thing. And once it's done, you want to click import again. Are we going to wait for it? It's done. Also, after imports, it could ask you for a quick restart for the editor as it uses the uh, new input system, so it wants to change some things. I'm gonna click yes. So after the editor have restarted, I'll show you guys how to use the asset itself. Then I will show you how to use the, how to change the model to any character model you got. Also, I would have a link to the asset in the description. So you wanna go to the star assets here. You wanna go to third person, and you're gonna go to scenes. You double click on the playground that they provide in the asset. It will take you to the, to the playground scene. And you can notice that everything is just like pink or purple, whatever it is. And that's because I'm using the URP, uh, the URP, uh, URP project. So you want to go to window to change that. You want to go to window and then you want to go to rendering. And then you want to go to render pipeline converter. And there it would allow you to convert all the textures to uh, URP, basically built into URP. Click on that and I will select everything here. Basically, you don't need to select the first one, but I'm selecting the material, the animations, and the uh, read-only materials. I'm going to click initialize converters. It's going to initialize it. Once it's done, you can just like click convert assets, or if you're converting any other material, you can go through the materials it's going to convert, and you can check whatever you want. In this case, we're just going to wait till it's done initializing. So now that it is done, we can click convert assets, and that's going to convert every asset on the scene to a URP asset so we can use it or it would have the textures normally and let's just wait for it now that the converting is done you can close this window and you would see everything is blue but it's going to change eventually so here what you can do let's look for the character yeah here is the character if you click start you can you can just control the character right away you don't need any code you need nothing it's already like in place you can do whatever you want with it and let's see in a minute this character basically has sounds you can walk you can run you can jump and oh stutters well yeah anyway you can even like this one can deal with slopes and stairs can do whatever um you have pretty good animations i would say they're a pretty good base and you can if when you jump there's animation even when you land down uh this is basically the character controller if we take a look at the uh, character itself the player armature it has multiple components basically the animator which deals with the animation the character controller and here the slope limit, basically the slope and the offset and other stuff here. Radius and center and stuff. This is for the capsule collider that we have here. This is the cool itself. You can control the movement speed, the sprint speed. Uh, you can control how fast the character rotates when you change like your direction with WASD. We have the sounds here. We have the gravity and jump. Uh, this one, basic rigid body push. Basically because we're using a, a character controller, not a rigid body with some code. You can't really interact with pushable objects. So this one kind of works around it. So you would select the layer that the object you want to move. Uh, move. You would select the layer that it's on and you would click and push and you can push that layer normally. This is basically to show you uh, the movement uh, analog and jumping and sprinting and stuff. So let's say you want to add your own character model. What you would do here, you would go to stern assets, you would go to third person and this time you'll go to prefabs. And here you want to go for the nested armature unpack. Basically this one. Nested uh, parent armature unpack. You want can put it anywhere in the world you want. So after you put it, let's just like go to it. Adjust it a bit. I'm gonna put it to two. You can just see it 
So in here, you want to just unpack uh, the prefab. Just unpack it. Not unpack completely, but just unpack. Click on it and go to the player armature. Right click on it. Unfab. Um, uh, prefab and then unpack in here you have three things the player camera root the geometry and skeleton i'm gonna choose the geometry and skeleton and i'm just gonna disable them and on the project here i have a file that has the characters in it i have both from Mixamo. let's say i want to use one of them i'm just gonna drag it and put it in the player armature under the player armature and before i do anything i'm just gonna click on y bot here I can extract the materials if it has any textures or something. And then I will go to rig. If it likes to load. Great. <laughs> so I'll go to rig. I'll choose humanoid. I'll click create from this model. And then I'll click apply. And then you will go to your player armature. Click on it. And change the avatar in the animator to the, the, one, the new one you made. Now if we click sort here. It's supposed to use the model that you use normally because it detects everything in it but just make sure to disable oh we have a problem uh make sure to disable any other camera that you have in the scene i forgot the main camera so i'm gonna just disable it um and now if you start it's supposed to work fine just make sure you disable the geometry and skeleton before you do anything oh yeah by the way this asset package it has uh controls for a phone uh, or android or ios you can move around see it animates uh, normally you can go around you can jump still works uh works perfectly fine but the starters obviously <laughs> uh, well let's try another character just to show you that it works properly let's say we want to try this character called shell it's the same for Mixamo as well tell me guys down in the comments if you want me to make a video about using characters from Mixamo and animations as well for Mixamo. so i'm gonna click on it or let's just not, not animate it first. I'm going to go to materials. I'm going to click extract materials. I'm going to click select folder. And it's going to basically because the FBX has materials on it. It's going to ex export it into file. And to ask me to fix it. I'll make it fixed. And I can use Michelle basically. I'm going to drag it in the player armature as well here. And I will just disable Ybot. And now if I start. It should work, but it didn't still do the body yet, it shouldn't. So you wanna go to Michelle here, and you wanna go to Rig, you wanna go Humanoid, and yeah, why does it not wanna? Blup, blup. If I click Humanoid, yeah, it works now. Click Apply. It's gonna make one for Michelle. If I click here, an Avatar, you can go for Michelle. Now I start the the game. It should basically give me controls for Michelle. Yeah. Basically, I can run with Michelle and move her around. So, guys, if you found a video helpful or something, just, you know, like the video or you didn't, just dislike it and type in the comments why you didn't like it. And also, a subscribe to the channel would be great. Thank you for watching.